Hi, and welcome to Wild at the Preserve. Today we were going to learn all about birds and their varied and useful beaks in our lesson, Breakfast for a Bird. But before we begin, can you sing the hello song with me? closer look at a bird's beak. Now birds beaks are used for many things like I said before birds use their beaks to clean themselves it's called preening. Birds use their beaks to protect themselves. Birds use their beaks to build nests for their eggs. But most importantly a bird uses its beak to eat its breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? What did you use to eat those foods? You might have used a fork or a spoon or a knife. But birds don't have any of those things. They'll use their beaks to eat all the different kinds of foods they eat. Let's take a look at some of the foods that birds like to eat. Birds eat many different types of things depending on their size, their habitat, or the competition from the birds around them. Now let's take a closer look at some of the things that birds eat. Some birds are called insectivore birds. They eat mostly insects. Some birds are granivorous birds and they'll eat seeds and grains. Some birds are frugivorous birds. They only eat fruit. Some birds are nectivorous birds and that means they just eat nectar from flowers. Some birds are carnivorous birds and they eat meat like insects and fish and frogs, lizards and other small animals. Some birds are opportunist or we might call them omnivore birds. They'll eat pretty much anything and everything. Ducks are the most well-known omnivore. Can you tell me what makes a bird different from other animals like fish, reptiles, insects or mammals? Can you identify the birds on the screen? Did you guess these? Good job. A bird's beak is perfectly adapted to what they eat. Now an adaptation of a bird, the, some of them have short beaks for cracking seeds, their long beaks for sipping nectar like a straw, or they might have a beak shaped more like a knife for cutting and tearing meat. Now, birds have lots of other adaptations that help them survive in the wild, like webbed feet for swimming, or talons for grabbing onto prey and branches in the trees. Birds also have very nice undercoats that help keep them warm and dry when they're out in the wild. So, hopefully now you can see why each bird has a different shaped beak. In the next video, I have some activities for you, some extension, some um, art activities, a book, and some avian antics, and maybe even a song. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs>